Hi, Chris here from Truly Holistic. Um, this is a bit of a blog in regards to this video and a few updates as well, but um, just some things uh, that I've been thinking about. What I'm finding a lot of in clients at the moment is uh, programs, okay? And this whole idea that a human being can be programmed. Um, and a lot of the times we look at regards to programming and algorithms and based algorithm is like a mathematical equation program we kind of look at it in regards to our computer or, or software and uh, so I guess it's looking at the human body as a computer and uh, realizing that um, our reality of what we call reality is perhaps a, a simulation or, or, or a, a program or a, a built system that can be programmed because when we really look at the universe the universe is built on structure and it's built on shapes which is geometry and numbers uh, and funnily enough you know when we're children one of, the, one of the first things that we learn to do is be able to count numbers and know what a circle is a square a triangle all these sorts of things and then the question there is like you know why do we get taught these and you know most people's answers all it's just you know you're going to see these things around you know you're going to see squares things are made of, of shapes and design and you know numbers are you know you need to count and all these sorts of things but it goes deeper than that because it's it's really that what our universe is made up of is numbers is shapes geometry and we haven't we don't get taught the power of these things you know here at truly holistic you know, I'm just using intention, I'm using words to make a change in someone by amplifying its effect by using a shape, you know, using geometry. So when these geometries are structured, which they are, they have structure to them, whether a certain number sequence will have a structure to them, therefore it, it, it's in formation, and this is where the word information comes from. If something's structured and it's got formation to it, then it can hold information and that's wisdom. Okay, and this is this is the key to to living a, a fruitful life is it's all about building information and building wisdom. And being here long enough to do that. And you know, with human beings, our life expectancy isn't the longest. Um, and I believe that that's done purposely so we can't create enough information or wisdom during that time especially if we're living in mainstream life which is all based on distraction based on keeping us our mind confused and keeping us busy and if 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 we're doing that then you know we're having to think a lot more and, and therefore feel less when really i think at the heart of most answers pardon the pun is feel it's not about think thinking too much and I think a lot of problems are caused by thinking about too much, at being analytical too much, instead of just going with your gut instinct. And what your gut instinct is, feel. That's that's it. And um, you know, we look at our modern uh, mainstream medical system, and it's doctors are treating people by numbers. They're not treating the person themselves. They'll listen to the person, or some of them will, and to see how they feel. But what it really comes down to why somebody they diagnose or somebody will say to somebody you go home there's nothing wrong with you is based on numbers based on blood tests giving us a number you know what and, and that's why i think that system is failing and energy medicine not just what i do here at quantum uh with quantum energy here at truly holistic but a number of modalities under energy medicine is the medicine of the future because it's getting back to all about feel again it's about listening to the client because the client's body knows best, okay? The symptoms that a person gets is their body communicating to them about something that's going wrong with them. No doctor, no practitioner, no quantum energy healer knows what that feels like like the person themselves do. And that's why it's vital to work together as a team, any practitioner with that client to get to that health outcome because it's all about feel okay and it's not about thinking too much and a lot of our problems in society today is because we are living in a society that is just bombarded with confusion bombarded with 
nonsense information that we don't need to know in a way of distracting us, keeping our mind so busy that we're missing on the simple things that are in front of us all the time and really getting connected with our true self, which is all about feel. So anyway, going back to the programs, I've uh, been removing a lot of programs, you know, like programs causing pain, pain-induced programs or programming within the physical body, um, all, all ways of torturing people's lives and, and so on. It's all built on programming and putting programs in place. Um, also, uh, you know, this whole thing about our reality being, um, you know, uh, like a computer simulation. Is you look at a lot of the computer games we have at the moment, and they are so real life. You know, it's just like real life. So, I think there's some similarities there in what computer games are based on and our reality. Also, another thing I want to mention in regards to, I've been talking a lot about this rupturing vibration uh, and energy weapons being used. And I've been finding these energy weapons, uh, also a mercury plasma weapon, uh, Uranus's rings vibration, as well as Saturn's rings I've been finding. Uh, but the Saturn ring one is a really big one that I've been finding a lot and disconnecting that from clients. And that's been working really well. And also um, using Organite. You know, Organite is all about transmuting negative uh, rupture vibrational energy and turning it into good vibrational energy again. So for anybody out there that want that personal protection, I think looking into making your own Organite or buying Organite is, is a good option. So it's definitely something I'm going to be looking more into. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for listening again. Um, yeah, cheers.